I'm so excited. I want to thank the Academy and all of you guys on YouTube and everybody I know and my assistant Mary and my camera people Dustin and Sarah and you guys like me. You really like me. Okay, I'm just kidding. I'm playing around. I'm Sandy from Balloon Utopia and Market with Balloons and this is the Golden Hollywood Statue. This is a really fun design. It gets a huge reaction. You're gonna love it. It is very much inspired by Chris Horn, um, and I don't know how much of the recipe we've changed and developed over the years and how much we're doing as he showed it to me, oh, <laughs> a long, 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 long time ago. <laughs> I don't wanna say how many years ago because that would be giving away my age. Let's just say when I first started doing balloons. So for this one, we are um, using 11 inch balloons, 16 inch balloons, and five inch balloons. So we've got some variable sizes here. And we're going to be going in and out and in and out. We're gonna be using some variable sizes in the same cluster. Okay, now, like I said, this is based on a six pack. Now what that means, as you know, to make a duplet, we're gonna tie two balloons together. And to make a quad, we're gonna take two duplets and twist them together. Now, to make a six pack, we're taking a third duplet and twisting it into our quad. These can be a little bit cumbersome to work with because until you, you get it established, they kind of want to pop up a little bit. They don't want to sit nicely. But the reason that we use a six pack is twofold in this, in this design. One, because it makes it rounder, and two, because it's really gonna give us a better shape, especially when we're using the variable size balloons. To start with, we're just going to, as always, get it put in there. And this is a seven foot pole that we're using today. And we're using the, uh, the base plate that I teach, um, if you don't know how to do it, go look for my video on how to make a balloon column frame. Okay, and so we have our first six pack. We got it to lay down flat. And so now we're gonna put our second six pack and get it to lay down flat. And sometimes they're gonna keep popping out a little bit until you like really get it established. So don't worry about it, like don't fight with it too much it'll flatten out eventually. Okay, and these are 11 inch balloons that are sized to about 10 and a half inches. So they're pretty full. And this is our last one. So this is our pedestal. Now we're gonna begin making the statue. Now this is, what, what I'm about to do now is probably the hardest part of the whole thing. Because we're taking two 11 inch balloons that are sized to about nine and a half inches and we're putting them there like that. And these are gonna be the feet. And now we're taking a quad of five inch balloons that's sized to about three and a half inches. And we're gonna put that behind the feet and arrange that. I don't, uh, let me turn this around so that you can see what's going on here. Cause for a minute we're gonna be working in the back here. Okay, now what we're doing, and we're gonna do it again with another quad of 11 inch balloons. And the reason that we're doing this is because we need to build this up so that this is going to be level for the next layer. So that's what we've done here is we've kind of cheated a little bit and created this um, level playing field, I guess. So now our next six pack, these are 11 inch balloons sized to five inches and it's just gonna go right on top and we're back to a six pack now, okay? And we're gonna have to fight with this one a little bit because we do have those variable sizes there. Day. All right, good boy. And let me turn this around now. Okay, so here's what it looks like in the front. And there's what it looks like in the back. All right, and now, now we're going to be going up. For a little while, we're, we're kind of just going up the legs. So we're just gonna keep making a step up. So we had five inches here, now we're going to a six inch. Again, this is an 11 inch balloon that is under inflated. All right, so we're just gonna put that on and try to get it to meet up as nicely as we can. And now we're gonna go up another level. Now we're going up to about a seven inch balloon. And if you get the DIY Balloon Bible Themes and Dreams, the full recipe is in there, just like that. And now we're going up again, it's an 11 inch balloon that's sized to eight inches. 
so you can see that, that shape starting to take effect. Now we're going up, I'm gonna say that this one's just about an eight and a half. It's only a slight step up. So the main thing is that you're going up incrementally so that you have, you know, just kind of that, that smooth transition of sizes. Now is where things start to get fun. Because what we have here is we've got two 11 inch balloons that are sized just like these to about uh, eight and a half inches. And then we've got two that are larger that are about nine inches. These larger balloons are gonna be going on the side. So that's gonna start bringing out that V. These two are our larger balloons. And as we go up in size, it's gonna be a lot more obvious which are, which are our large balloons and which are our normal size balloons. There we go. But go to your happy place. So this is the other reason that we need the six pack. Because without the six pack, we can't control that these are gonna be on the sides the way we need. Okay, now our next cluster, we've gone up just slightly from this one and then we're gonna maintain with this size for all of our clusters that are in between. Okay, so this one is, actually I would say that that one's a nine inch and this one's probably the, probably about an eight and a half. Okay, so this, this cluster here is just the same, it's all six of these balloons are the same size. And the reason that we're doing this is so that our next layer of the wings is going to stack right on top of this layer, right? So here we have 11 inch balloons. These ones are, I'd say probably about 10, 10 and a half inches. They're fairly full. They feel pretty tight. And then we've got our nine inch balloons here. So just like before, we're gonna put it on. <laughs> it's always fun working when it's bigger than me, which is not hard to do. <laughs> and then bring those little wings down like that. And like that. Okay, so you can see how it's starting to come out. Now we're back to a cluster of six nine inch balloons. Again, 11 inch balloons. Underinflate it, or actually eight and a half. I'm gonna say these are eight and a half. Underinflate it to about eight and a half inches. Okay, so now we've graduated from our 11 inch balloons here, and these are 16 inch balloons. So now we've got some more squish to them, and these are inflated to about 11 and a half inches. And then our small balloons are still the same size. We're still with that size here. So you see, you, you really are starting to wrestle quite a bit with it as you get to this layer here. Make sure everything's fitting into their happy spot. Okay, so now you can really see that coming out. And now we're back to our eight and a half, uh, eight and a half inch six pack. And this is gonna be the last one of this size. And now we've got, we're back to five inches that are sized to three. This is basically just making a collar so that we, when we put the head in, it's got something to rest on and it's not gonna be bouncing around. Now we're taking a 16 inch balloon and it's inflated to, I'd say about 14 inches, 13, 14 inches. And we're going to take a 260 and tie it on, right like that, put it right in the center. And then we're gonna use these two strings, just like always, to tie it into the top of our column. Now what I'm doing is I'm crisscrossing it onto the pole. I know you can't see what I'm doing in there, but we've done this before. And then I'm gonna tie it so that it's tied into the pole down below the second or third layer. The reason for that is so that if it's windy or something, it's not gonna pull off the top layer. We could just stop here, but to me it looks a little bit strange because we've gone up and then, and then it's like, he just has this like really long neck. So we wanna kinda give him some shoulders. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a 260 and we are going to cut it in half, just like that. And now I have two 11 inch balloons that are inflated to about nine and a half, 10 inches. One, so I'm gonna tie one part to the nozzle of one balloon. I'm gonna tie the other part to the nozzle of the other balloon. And then what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to 
stretch that in just like that. And you see it'll kind of pull it out. And if it's um, like floating up too much, then you can just use a little sticky tab and glue it down. But you see that kind of gives them those epaulette type look. So yeah, here we have our, our uh, golden Hollywood sculpture for our awards themes. And uh, yeah, people really like him. He's, he's kind of a fun one. I enjoy doing him. So there you go. I hope you like it. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. Please give me some love. Tell your friends about it. Tell their friends about it. Subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends to subscribe to my channel. Their dogs, uncles, neighbors, sisters, brothers to subscribe to my channel. You know the drill. And also leave me a comment. What else do you want to learn? What, uh, what kind of events are you guys putting on and what do you need to know? Don't forget to drop by my Facebook group, DIY Balloon Art, and head on over to Amazon and pick up some of my books. And if you want to see this one in writing, if you're one of those types of people like myself who prefer paper and printed stuff, it's in the DIY Balloon Bible Themes and Dreams. There you go. And the award goes to you. All right, until next time, go forth and balloonify.